Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there is something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 and you can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can also find us on patreon as funny and jesse and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys are doing. We are very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to, um, I have no idea what it says, but it's a Khalid Yassin video. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Um, uh, what can we Muslims do to follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sunnah? And what is your advice to us? It means like uh, today's society. Thank you, sister. And probably this is the last question. Um, I would advise the Muslims that don't focus so much on the external sunnah. We want all the sunnah, to the best of our ability. We want to eat, we want to sleep, we want to wear, we want to dress, we want to act, we want to talk. We want to do everything how the process he liked, how he loved, what he'd been ordered. Because Allah subhanahu wa says, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوا وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْ فَانْتَهُوا Take what the process gives you and leave alone what he forbids you. But the most important part of the sunnah, it is not the external part of the sunnah, it is the internal part of the sunnah because he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, verily I have been sent to perfect what? Good manners, good behavior. If the Muslims would charge themselves with good behavior, good conduct, watch how you speak, watch how you act, how you deal with non-Muslims, whether you lie, whether you steal, whether you deceive, whether you argue, whether you curse, whether you comply or you don't comply, whether you assimilate, you cooperate, you collaborate, you assimilate <coughs> when <coughs> it is the law. When a Muslim sees the sign that says 60 miles an hour and he or she decides to drive 80 miles an hour, I don't care if you're dressed in white from head to toe, you in violation because you gotta follow the rules. Safety, <clears throat> health, the rules of the society for the benefit of the people, everybody has to do what? what you, uh, Muslims, what I'm speaking, Chinese? The rules of the society which is there to protect everybody which is there to benefit everybody. What have Muslims to do? We have to obey. Unless that rule or that principle, it directly undermines the principles of Islam. In that case, there is no obedience to any creature when it involves disobedience to Al-Khaliq. This is the principle. But other than that, we Muslims have to obey. We have to comply. We need to assimilate in order that people don't see us to be on the outside. That people don't see us to be, you know, uh, what you call it, um, uh, some people who set themselves out and uh, they can't tolerate and they can't mix and they can't uh, interact and they don't reciprocate. That, you know, it's only win for them but no win for somebody else. They're always frowning. They're always complaining. They're already blaming. They're already talking bad about other people. And they never want to give. They always want to take. Muslims, if we Muslims correct our behavior, if our behavior starts to shine and people can feel and smell the sunnah just like you can taste and you can, you can smell basmati rice before you taste it. Nobody can hide the smell of basmati rice. If you're cooking downstairs, the whole house can smell it. The character of the Muslim is like the fragrance of the basmati rice. 
and everybody wants basmati rice. <laughs> Especially when you put a little curry and some other spices in it too. So this is our problem and this is our challenge. Our problem and our challenges is that Muslims, we know the doctrine, we know the hadith, we know the Quran, we know the Arabic language, we know the ahkam, we know the balagha, we know the tafsir, we know this, we know that, but we're not acting upon what we say. And Allah, He says in the Quran, O you who believe, لِمَا تَكُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ O you Muslims, why you say things that you don't do? Kabura, maqtan, عند Allah. It is hateful, odious in the sight of Allah that you say, recite, and quote things that actually you don't do. إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُحِبُّ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِهِ What? Safan, كَأَنَّهُمْ بُنْيَانُمْ مرصوص. So we Muslims, inshallah, if Allah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to correct our behavior. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, to, to, to move our words, to expand our iman, to increase our knowledge, to give us more love and trust of each other, respect for our parents, love and loyalty for the scholars of Islam, even if we disagree. We still love them, we follow. Even if we disagree, because there is even, there's a menhaj, there's an adab for even disagreement. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that each one of us will make an assessment of themselves. And Khalid should try to become a better Muslim. Khalid should try to become a better human being. Khalid should look to his character. He should look to how he's dealing with his neighbor, his colleague, and his co-worker. Because I'm telling you for sure, one out of 50 people in this country, they're ready to take shahada right now. But Muslims are in the way. One out of 10 of your non-Muslim neighbors and colleagues and co-workers, if they don't become a Muslim, they will become your ally if you treat them correctly. But right now, Muslims don't have many allies, and Muslims are not able to give many shahadas. And we blame it on them. We say, all oh, them kafirs, I've been talking to them for a long time. No, what you're doing, you see, you're, you're, what you're serving, it don't smell like basmati rice. Your character is smelling bad. Your clothes are looking nice. Your words are sounding nice. You are religiously correct, but you are characteristically wrong. If we change that, and we pray to Allah that we change it, inshallah, Islam is going to enter every house, and Islam is going to enter the hearts like Bluetooth. They can't stop it. It's called what? The Dawa Tsunami. And nobody can stop it. Brothers. Very interesting clip. I'm amazed by the fact that he says sometimes when we find people not converting to Islam is because of their Muslim friends. Which I have to agree to some extent. I always say this once. If you want me to really look into this religion, I think I would respect you and want to hear you if you um <clears throat> approach me with so much respect and just not saying bad things I should, it's just crazy out there your character always says something that's why when i see maybe people converting or speaking about these um religious things it's because they feel attacked that's why they respond the way they respond sometimes behind your back you may not even know that people want to convert to your religion but because you're pushing things you're judging the people you're just speaking bad towards them it discourages them somehow to some extent and you make the religion itself look bad if this is a religion of peace then act by the words of god this video is all about acting in the way that god wants us to act like i said if this is the religion of um peace you want to talk to someone with peace within you. You want to understand where they're coming from. Let them talk and say whatever they want. But at, when it's your turn to talk, surprise them by being so calm. Surprise them by saying, I understand where you're coming from, but 
let me correct you surprise them by saying you know what i think you should come to the mosque with me you know what let's do this and and let them tell you how they feel about maybe praying together whatever the case is or whatever knowledge you guys are sharing between your souls or amongst yourselves otherwise this was very this was very very interesting and shout out to the person that suggested this and if there's anything like this that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you i'll see you in my next reaction video